tonight. Did a powerful New Jersey lawmaker harass and intimidate a former employee? The woman and her attorney say yes, and they say they have the voicemails to prove it. Walt Kane is here with a story you'll see only here on News 12 New Jersey. Sounds like a big one, Walt. Yeah, Della, last night there was a complaint to the Legislative Ethics Committee leveled against State Senator and North Bergen Mayor Nick Sacco, in which the former employee makes those allegations. The alleged incident happened more than eight years ago, but the woman is only now coming forward. And one warning in advance, some of the language in this story may not be appropriate for children. Good evening, you f***ed up all over your life. This is the biggest f*** up you've ever made in your life. Is the man on this voicemail Nicholas Sacco, state senator and mayor of North Bergen? This woman says yes, and eight years later, she says the messages are still upsetting. How did you feel listening to those messages? I was in fear, <laughs> scared. Lydia Coleman was working for Sacco as a North Bergen recreation supervisor at the time. She says she was at a bar here on Bergenline Avenue when Sacco asked her to drive him home. Coleman says she was uncomfortable, so she said no. That night, she says the mayor left her a series of angry messages. I think you better really call me back. You embarrass me in front of a judge who's my oldest, closest friend. You're a retard. You better realize what you just did. As the night went on, Coleman says she got more messages, and they were increasingly hostile. You don't seem to understand that everything is in my hands right now. Everything is in my hands. You don't know what I'm capable of doing. You better get back and try to make amends for your scumbag behavior. You don't seem to understand that everything is in my hands right now. Everything is in my hands. When he says that, what are you thinking? It's my livelihood, my job. Um, how, is it going to take everything away? In the weeks to come, Coleman says the town reduced her job duties and took away her cell phone. She resigned two years later. Her attorney says Sacco's behavior was inexcusable. When he says, you don't know what I'm capable of, that means something. That's not your Joe Schmo on the corner saying, you don't know what I'm capable of. This is someone with a lot of power, capable of doing a lot of things. We tried to talk to Sacco about the allegations, but he declined. But regarding the Lydia Coleman tapes, did I talk to you at all? No. The mayor's spokesman says, we believe the tapes have been digitally altered. We believe the crude references that are allegedly being made by Nicholas Sacco are fraudulent. The spokesman adds, the fact of the matter is, Ms. Coleman isn't a credible person. This is not a person who should be believed. Coleman has had some legal issues. Last year, she was arrested on charges of assaulting her boyfriend's estranged wife. The charges were dropped. She also admits she was accused of insurance fraud, but says that charge was expunged. But Coleman's complaint says Sacco also has a history of harassing employees. Last year, this woman, April Tricoli Bussett, accused Sacco of sexual harassment and ultimately received a $90,000 settlement. Bussett is now one of Sacco's political opponents, and as Sacco's supporters point out, she's also a friend of Lydia Coleman. It's been eight years. Why wait this long before you came forward? I've held it in a long time. I let it go thinking that, you know, everything will pass and will go on with my life. But I see that it's happened to other people, and it's got to come to a stop. Let's be clear, though. While the ethics complaint accuses Sacco of having a history of harassing employees, we are only aware of two that have ever come forward. April Tricoli Bussett, whose lawsuit was settled, and now Lydia Coleman. Sacco's spokesman says in more than 25 years of public service, that amounts to what he calls an unblemished record. Do you have a story I need to investigate? Call me at 732-738-KANE. Email caneinyourcorner at news12.com or find me on Facebook at Kane in Your Corner. Well, what can the Ethics Committee do next? Well, they have the power to fine lawmakers up to $10,000 for ethical violations, but this one is going to be a seriously uphill climb. First, a lot of this conduct has to do with alleged conduct, mm -hmm. has to do with him as mayor, not as mm -hmm. state senator. And above and beyond that, it was a long time ago. Keep us posted. Thank Thanks, you, Paul Kane, reporting.